So if you think you know what your credit score is, I can almost guarantee you're wrong. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to find your true credit scores that your lender's gonna use. So my name is Dan Free. I do this on a daily basis, but we have Tips Tuesday where we go, we take a deep dive into your credit and everything credit so you can understand how important your credit is and where exactly your credit scores are. So let's get to it. The first thing we wanna talk about is what exactly is a credit score? And most of you guys know this. It's a three digit number that basically represents your credit worthiness to pay back a loan, okay? So there's two different models. There's a FICO credit score and a Vantage credit score. These the scores range from 300 to 850. So what exactly is the difference? Well, let's get over to this. The difference between your FICO and your Vantage score. It's really important you know this. Your Vantage credit score is usually the credit score you get when you use a free system. Okay, it's more of an educational tool to use. It's not a, a credit score that any lender uses. So you can't buy a car based on your Vantage credit score. You can't buy a house based on your credit Vantage score. So you might say, well, why was Vantage credit score even created in the first place? Well, it's free because your FICO score, the FICO, the credit score people use to grant you that uh, home loan, grant you that car loan, approve you for that credit card. It's, a, it's called your FICO score and it's a paid service, okay? So those are the two differences between the two systems. So again, if you're using a free system, most likely you're getting your Vantage credit score, okay? The next thing is we wanna say is when I'm asking somebody what their credit score is, they're gonna come up with me, they're gonna come back to me and say, okay, it's a 640. And I'm like, okay, well, what version of that is it? Because there's over 37, 37 different credit scores. You can see right on the screen, Experian Equifax, they each have six, 16 different credit scores and TransUnion has over 21 different credit scores. So basically in its simplest you know, complexity on this, let's break it down. Let's say for example, Experian. Here's the Experian credit. Okay, under Experian, there's gonna be a couple subsets. So let's say Experian has subset one. Okay, so series experience subset one now has four different credit scores off of that. The credit scores are rating you on what is your car score, what is your insurance score, what is your credit card score, and what is your mortgage score. Okay, so you follow me so far? You have Experian number one with four subsets. Well, now you have Experian number two with four subsets. Now you have experience number three with four subsets, so you get it, okay? So now you might wanna think, well, what, what credit scores do my lenders use? Great question. So we go over to here, and this is where it gets a little complex, okay? So you're looking through here. What credit scores do mortgage lenders use? Because I'm a mortgage advisor, licensed in all 50 states, love to help you if you're looking for that first mortgage. But if you break this down, the credit scores used, for example, with mortgage lenders, we use the Experian FICO score two also known as risk model V2. We use your Equifax FICO score number five, which is called your beacon number five. And then we use your TransUnion credit score four, which is called your FICO risk score four. Okay, so do you understand now? You have the Experian uh, score two, different models and so forth. So that's how we come up with over 37 different credit scores. So now the next question is, well, how do I find this? Where can I, can I actually get my FICO credit score? Yes, you can. I actually created a website years ago. I had my first video that I put out hit like 250,000 hits within like a week. And I'm like, man, people really, they really need to know more about credit scores. So I actually created a website called Credit Scores and More. I'm gonna just show you just the two simple tools I want you to use. So you're gonna find a lot of information through here, blogs and a bunch of tutorials on here. The two systems I want you to use is right here. If you're not using a company called Credit Crest, uh, Sesame or Credit Karma, please do so. You can reach those right through here. Just click this, it'll launch you to their sites. Sign up, it's free. Don't apply for any of the perks. Don't pay for any of their services because you don't need it, okay? If you wanna pay for something, what you're gonna do is find out your, what your true credit score is. This, this link right here is gonna take you to your FICO system. Remember, I said your FICO is right here. Your FICO credit scores are what mortgage lenders use and what mostly all lenders use. Car loans, credit cards, insurance, and mortgage companies. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna click the true credit score. It'll take you to your My FICO account. You can pull in one credit report, such as TransUnion, or you can pull all three. If you use this link, you're gonna get a 20% discount. So next week, we're gonna take a deep dive into collections and charge-offs. I think you're going to find that real informative as well. So if you're out there and you're you're seeking, you know, hey, Dan, I'd really love to see if I could maybe buy my first house, but I don't know. 
what I ask you to do is please don't disqualify yourself. Please reach out to us. We would love to help because a lot of people say, I don't make enough money. My credit score isn't high enough and I don't have enough money down. Many times we're able to get those people pre-approved and they're flabbergasted at the end. So if you're out there, you're looking to try to maybe buy your first house right now, we'd love to help you. Please visit us at therateupdate.com. There's three ways to reach out to us. One, you can apply right up there at the top, the apply now tab. Or if you scroll down through this system, you're going to see a bunch of blogs and articles and financial calculators and so forth. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see our 800 number. That's 844-775-5626. Or you can even email me directly. And yes, I will reply. My email is dan at therateupdate.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. God bless. And please don't forget to share this video out to others because we need to inform more and more people about their credit. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.